And the man who police say smashed into another vehicle after a police chase is now charged with murder. Andrew Stark of Independence faces several charges for yesterday's chase and crash. Andres Gutierrez joins us live where that crash ended. Hey there, Krista. There are orange markings that are over there that indicate where those two cars collided, ending the life of 35-year-old Jason Lewis. We spent the day speaking with people who live around here that knew Mr. Lewis. One man I spoke to, Terrence Willis, told us that Willis had borrowed the car from a relative to help the two women that he was with run errands. Those two women and Lewis ended up getting trapped after the cars collided here at 23rd and Hardesty yesterday morning. Willis says that Lewis was a good-hearted man who would do anything to help others. Does whatever he can for anybody in the neighborhood. Uh, you know, he, he gives rides to people who don't have rides to the store or, you know, wherever they need to go or, you know, things like that. I mean, that's a good guy. Others we spoke to told us Lewis worked as a cook at a nearby nursing home. The two women that he was with at the car, in the car at the time remain in the hospital this afternoon. Reporting live in Kansas City, I'm Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News. All right, officers have to follow certain policies when they decide to start a chase. Independence police believe this dash cam footage from this pursuing officer's car shows they followed policy. Silver car speeds by the officer. You're going to see that. The officers then take after the vehicle. But the car keeps going, and this is what ended up happening. Four minutes later, the officer calls off the chase due to the high rate of speeds. Almost two minutes later after that, that officer came up on that deadly crash. Here's another look at just how far this chase went. It started at 23rd Street and Blue Ridge Terrace in Independence. It followed 23rd Street West and ended at Hardesty. That's about three miles from start to finish. Again, Independence police say they followed protocol during this chase. We posted this entire chase policy, the dash cam video. It's all at KSHB.com right now.